hmm, what starting lineup can I review today? Let me look in the case and see what I have. Oh, the glass. Hello, starting lineup fans. Got a real treat for you today. You're looking at the, well, it's now Hasbro 2000 starting lineup of John Van Beesbrook of the New York Islanders. This this figure is one of my all-time favorites. I love the goalies. I actually have every goalie ever made. Um, but this is definitely one of my favorites. The 2000 hockey is pretty rare. A lot, of, a lot of collectors don't realize how rare it is. In many toy lines, the last run is, is usually the rarest, believe it or not. Because, you know, they're getting the end of the line, end of the road. And they're scaling back, cutbacks. And they only produce a, a small amount of items. And the same thing goes for starting lineup. So this is this is a pretty rare figure. And it's a beautiful figure. I love the vintage Islanders uniforms. Great color with the orange and the blue. The helmet on this one is, I mean, they hit a home run. For There was a couple of years there where Kenner or Hasbro got cheap on us and didn't paint the helmets. They were just white or black or whatever color matched the, the uniform. But in 2000, they, they brought these back and it, this looks great. This is a great looking helmet. It does come off. The stick can also be removed. Remember, these are for ages four to 104. So not for the smallest kids because the choking hazards and maybe not for the biggest kids either. Who knows? But here he is, again, 2000 Hasbro starting lineup, the final year of the hockey figures, and one of the final years for starting lineup in general. 2001 was the last year they were produced, unfortunately. This figure, it, it, again, is very tough to find. There was four case assortments in the 2000 NHL hockey. John Van Beesbrook was in two of those case assortments, but only one per case. So pretty tough to find. The goalies were always popular from day one in 1993 to the end. They were popular every year. There's no extended line in 2000, but there is a Canadian version. Uh, the bilingual cards has the, the, the French and the English. And John Van Beesbrook was also made in Canada for the, for the Canadian version. I am not sure of case assortments on the Canadians in 2000. If you have any info on that, please let me know. I'd love to hear about it. The value of this figure in a loose condition, you're looking five to ten dollars with or without the card. The card may only add maybe a dollar or two in value. In the package, I would say ten to fifteen plus. Again, it's a tough figure to find. And please note, my my valuations are of present time. This can change. This is nothing set in stone. It's just my opinion. Things can go higher, things can go lower. This is just my opinion. I've been getting some some messages about pricing and, you know, it's just my opinion on things. So take it for what you will. Get a back shot of John. There's his name and number, very long name. Looks so cool though. This pose, I believe this was new for 2000, this hockey pose. I really like it. I think it's great. Side shot, of course, with his glove. And that, that helmet is just killer. Love the helmet. Great detail to the helmet. Maybe we'll get a little bit better on camera here. Of course, the holes are on top of the helmets. I get a lot of questions. Kirch, why are there holes on top of the helmets? Well, for football and for hockey... It had to do with a choking hazard. You know, if that gets lodged in your throat, there's there's a way to get air through the helmets. That, you know, that's, I believe, what the reasoning is for the holes in, in both football and NHL helmets. Again, the stick does come off on the goalies, on the regular issue figures, the, the wingmen and defensive players. The stick was molded into the figure. So there you have it, 2000 Hasbro starting lineup, John Van Beesbrook, New York Islanders. Again, great looking figure, goalie pose, new goalie pose, super colors, 
and pretty tough to find. But it's your job to go out and get one.